trên bàn thủ à, bắt đầu phần chiếu nha đầu tiên sẽ là những cái kim anh và sau đó sẽ là những cái phương khanh tiếp theo những cái phương khanh sẽ là phong võ
Muốn biết gì thì hỏi cho, cho ba biết ba trả lời Mặc dù biết cuộc đời thì sanh lão bệnh tử không ai tránh khỏi Nhưng tôi vẫn trở ngàn để bất mát khi nhận ra sự thật và ba không còn nữa Trước khi cúng một đám gì đó tôi thường tham khảo đọc hỏi những bài kinh để soạn ra mấy hôm trước cũng ngồi soạn chương trình làm tăng lễ bỗng qua thắc mắc không nhớ là sẽ tụng kinh gì trước định đấm xấu lỗi cho ba chợt nhớ ba đã đi rồi giờ đây con không còn người để ý lại nữa mỗi lần đi cúng con sẽ không hề học ba nữa mặc dù liếng tiếc ba nhưng con luôn cầu nguyện cho ba được đi thanh thả tiếp tục tu hành để sớm được về cõi thiên liên hạt sống ba tụi con mãi mãi thương yêu ba Tiếp theo đây xin mời Phương Thảo Sau Phương Thảo sẽ không bỏ Cerritos to Irvine as well. However, our house was not yet built. Ang Bang Wai opened up their home for us to stay in for the time being. They were always a safe house for everyone when we didn't have a permanent home yet. And so, so people like my family and Gong Baba's family, we always went to Ang Bang Wai's house as a safe house until we had a permanent home ready. Not only Ang Wai was so welcoming for us to stay at their home, he also took care of us grandchildren as we were growing up. While my parents were at work, Ang Wai took on a huge role to pick us up from school every day. He did this for all his grandchildren that lived in Irvine, such as my brother Victor, my sister Selena, and my cousins Shane, Sheldon, Shreese, and me. He was always on time, however, Some of us were not on time for him, aka me and Victor. Um, he would get upset when we were late, but he still continued to pick us up regardless. My mom had to give us a little talk multiple times to be on time for him after school. And I was always late because I would get distracted chit-chatting with my friends. Um, but eventually I learned to be more mindful of his time and would come meet up at the pickup spot right after school. And not only did he pick us up from school, but he also drove us to karate classes and tutoring classes after school. He did so much driving for us, and eventually he needed a break from driving as soon as we got older. And another role that he took on was babysitting all of us after school until our parents were off from work and came to pick us up. He helped provide early dinners for us, um, and a lot of staying out at his house or playing on his computers. And sometimes I would see him sitting on a stool and use the mandolin to make me gag for us to eat. And he always worked so hard to take good care of us because he loved us. Sometimes when Victor and I would lose our internet privileges at home, we were always welcome to go to Uncle Hawaii's house to use their computer and their internet. And they never asked any questions and always allowed us to play. Sorry, Mom and Dad. When we were all kids, We never imagined that we would ever lose Ang Wai. We always thought that he would be around forever. I remember him having some health issues in the past, such as pneumonia, but he always recovered from them because he was so strong. He always came back up on his feet after going through such hardships because that's the man he was. So when he went, when he ended up in Fountain Valley Hospital before going to hospice, Everyone in the family took turns visiting him because we all loved him so much. So when I visited him, when I 
when it was my turn to visit him, we talked about all the good times that we shared. And towards the end of our conversation, he said, I love you guys. And the last time I saw him was when we celebrated that at his house. And I'm so glad I got to see him one last time that day before he passed three days later. Thank you all more for everything you did for our family and for taking care of his grandkids all the time. We wouldn't be the person we are today without you. Hello everyone, my name is Shane, also known as Tom. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Sean, also known as Tun. Hi, my name is Sharice, also known as Bung Tony. Hi, my name is Selena, also known as Tato, and we were nicknamed as S4 because we all have names that start with the S and there's the four of us. So Omai would used to call us that, and we were lucky to spend our childhoods together at Omai's house when he was taking care of all of us. Omai oh, is someone who taught all of us what strength and family means. Um, for those who don't know, Omai oh, decided to enroll in home hospice after he was hospitalized at Fountain Valley last September, and the doctor decided that there was not much more to do about his heart condition. It was a difficult decision for the family to accept, but we all supported him, and we're so proud and grateful that he was able to maintain his strength and persevere for as long as he could. During the five months that he was at home, his love for his family never went away, even if his strength did, and he was always so happy to see us and spend time with us, whether our visits were as short as half an hour or as long as four hours. He showed that the love he had for his family was all that he needed to keep his strength. As us grandchildren grew older and had busier lives, we couldn't get together to visit Omai as often as we wanted to, but he never complained about it. He was so selfless and understanding, and it was happy enough for him if we were happy doing what we wanted to do, even if it meant that we couldn't see him as often. For his birthday last year in October, the four of us decided to surprise him for the first time. We went out and bought a balloon, flowers, um, a throw blanket, and we came home and surprised him for his last birthday. It was the last birthday that we spent with him, and it created a memory that we'll never forget, and we're so glad that we took time out of our day to do this for him. Looking back, we think that one of Omai's uh, main love, love languages was food because when we were young, he would always take time to make various vegetable soups and dishes, even if we didn't necessarily like them. Um, one example that comes to mind is his infamous beet soup, which we disliked so much that we called it blood soup because of how red it was. Now, I know um, one personal anecdote for me is apparently when I was young, I said that I wanted to become president so that I could ban beet soup. Uh, as we, we've grown older, we finally realized that he was just trying to make sure that we stayed healthy and that we are eternally grateful for the experiences we shared. And although his soups may not have been one of our favorites, um, one of the many dishes that we always look forward to was his beet jai. Um, he took so much time and effort to make it for us and continued to make it for years to make sure that we had some at home even if we didn't see him. Um, it was so good that we, we wrote him a poem about
about it on one of his birthdays a few years ago. And there are many other things we'll always remember on Y for, such as taking care of us after school from preschool all the way until high school, and making sure that we were looked after while our parents were always working, and he would always drive us to all of our after school beds and drive me to swim every single day. Um, Why has so much patience and we never heard a complaint from him no matter how loud or stubborn we were or how many favors we asked from him. We visited him at the hospital and he greeted us with go plum go on why. He even said we could go home thinking we had better things to do because he cared more about us and our happiness than his own. Even visiting him at home, after he came back from the hospital, he would say thank you, but in reality we couldn't do anything to thank him enough for everything he did for us. Not only did he look after us, cook for us, and continually, continuously show his love for us, he emphasized the importance of family and prioritizing those you care about. Even just two weeks ago, he would still ask how people were doing and making sure that they were taking care of themselves. With that, we want to say thank you and why for reminding us to share, cherish one another and the time we have remaining. Gracias.